Hey guys, in case you did not know, Boogie2988 has recently attempted and successfully scammed his own audience with a crypto coin called the Fatty Coin. Now he's made CoffeeZilla, he's made some Ordinary Gamers, Penguin Zero, also a Magic the Gathering player, has also made fun of him and, you know, has got 3.5 million views. So when Boogie makes a video, he basically has to hope for about 30,000 views. When Penguin Zero makes a video about him, it's got 3.5 million views, and that's where we are right now. Now, Boogie used to be a huge Magic YouTuber. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that at one point in time, when I joined as another channel, New Law Student, he was by far the largest person to make, pun intended, I guess, Magic the Gathering content. And his videos, uh, he's been making Magic the Gathering content for at least 11 years from what I can see, probably longer. He has a very famous video where he flips the chair, right? And as Francis and, and that game, he is, that one went viral. In that particular video, the game he was playing was clearly Magic the Gathering. So on top of all of this stuff, and you know, again, I'm, I'm going to say what I want to say because it is my channel. I think Boogie let down everyone with his crypto scam. He himself being a victim of crypto scams is now the perpetrator of the crypto scam. The one thing I haven't really been able to figure out, he does have a very nice magic collection. In his documentary, he showed it off. And a lot of that is sealed. What he showed off was sealed type of stuff. I just kind of wonder, like, why don't you just uh, sell your magic collection? It, instead of scamming your audience, right, you could sell your magic collection. There are other ways for him, and he also has arcade. Like, these collectibles are not unvaluable. They have value to them. Some of them have tremendous amounts of value, including Magic the Gathering, where again, you can go to his local game store. They will buy from him. And if he wasn't so damn lazy, he could just sell on eBay. He could sell on eBay. I, I don't know... What the F is going on here? But the one thing that he refuses to sell uh, in the Caleb Hammer video, he says, oh, magic cards go up. They only go up. But now he's saying, oh, they're like pet rocks. So there's kind of this dichotomy where, you know, I own a lot of magic cards because I can afford to own it. My home is paid off. My car is paid off. But if I had to sell it, I would sell it for any price, right? Even if you had to take a loss, that's what you have to do. So for Boogie, it's quite kind of interesting. The scenario that he has put himself in is, you know, he has a massive magic clock. And I, I feel like other people also are in this scenario. I feel like other people are also, you know, in a situation where they might be sitting on collectibles and they've been told that these are 401ks, these are investment opportunities, these are things that, you know, you're, we're going to the moon, everybody, just hop on. When you can just buy, the, you can just sell the object, clear off these loans, and you might not have to scam people. Like if the options are, let's scam somebody with our fake crypto coin or selling off my magic collection, I, it's like, you know, I, I don't know if this is a no-brainer, but... It's a no-brainer. Um, I, I wonder why Boogie doesn't sell his magic collection. He has a girlfriend, a much younger girlfriend. They're traveling now. So in case you wanted to know where all that crypto scam money went, uh, they're traveling to Canada. Traveling is probably one of the most expensive things to do, especially if you don't have a steady income. Right? It, it's hard enough if you have a steady income to save money. Uh, and, and imagine somebody who does not have a steady income. Let me let me read you the title of this video. What is the title of this video? Fleeing the country to Canada, he says. All the comments are just absolutely, they're like, what the heck is going on here, Buggy? You said you needed money. You said you have all these medical bills. How the hell can you afford to take you and your girlfriend, who also doesn't have a job, by the way, to Canada? Like, is there a such an adverse person who's so afraid oh tom tom dark just did boogie's big scam 
Uh, yeah. So every big YouTuber has just absolutely what? annihilated him. Let me read you some comments. Keemstar paid us. Uh, this is a video of me and my girlfriend exploring Niagara Falls, New York, and then attempt to cross the border to Niagara Falls, Canada, even though we didn't have the pap proper paperwork to get across. Broke enough to scam, rich enough to travel. Yeah, I, that's like the number two comment. He pinned a comment by Venom Steak, but the num actual number one comment is broke enough to scam, rich enough to travel. Are you going to crypto scam in Canada too? Who else just came for the comments? Just to be clear, you talk about having no money to the point that you scam people and then travel to another country. Got it. So he's got a Magic the Gathering collection. I don't know what the heck he's talking about. He's got money. Like he's got money. Um, just sell your money. Effing. Yeah. I like how Boogie says cutting his lawn will kill him, but he goes on vacation every other week to make his daughter, so that's what they call her, she's actually his girlfriend, happy. Also, some big balls you have to completely scam your audience one week, then show off how you're spending all their money in the next. Trip to Niagara Falls with the money of people he scammed. That's what up YouTube. Sometimes I think I'm a major f up in life, but constant but going to constantly watch Boogie makes worse and worse choices on a daily basis. As a full on adult, gives me pause. For though, for though it can always be one thousand times worse. For someone saying they're super worried about cancer and having no money, then go up because you got paid. This is sad. I thought you had no money due to medical bills. So yeah, this guy has, I don't know, man. There's something like wrong with this dude. This guy's constantly asking for money and he's scam. I mean, he will go so far as to scam his mother effing audience, whatever remains of his audience, right? With a fake crypto coin, a completely useless crypto coin. And... On one side, he wants you to believe he's really poor. He's got a magic collection. I do not donate to this guy until he sells his magic collection, guys. Because clearly, he's not that desperate. Clearly, he is not that desperate. Uh, if he was that desperate, he would sell his magic, the gathering collection. Which is worth much more than I think he, he has put the price on it even his sealed product alone and these are gifts these are people who gave them to him for free he doesn't pay for his magic stuff these are gifts as he said uh to caleb it's very very frustrating because supposedly he needs this money for medical bills and then he goes on vacation uh, you know, like, what the hell are you doing, Boogie? Like, sell your magic collection. Like, until he sells his magic collection, you can assume that he's just lying to you. Right? You can just assume the guy is just a liar. That's how I feel about it right now. Anyway, I used to donate to Boogie, which was a complete waste of money. He just gets larger and lar I'm just going to say mean stuff. Uh, which is not appropriate you do, but he just gets lar every money you donate to him, he just gets larger and larger. Like he's never going to be able to lose weight. Doesn't matter what pro procedures, cause surgery, whatever. It's not going to work if you don't want it to work. Anyway, guys, 